When you eat it, the survey says the number three answer is tacos. The number two answer is watermelon. What is the number one bullseye answer? You'll get the answer as we play bullseye on the Family Feud Challenge. Introducing the Reed family. Ready for action. Playing against the Christensen family. On your marks. Let's start the Family Feud. Here's the star of the Family Feud Challenge, Ray Cohn. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello to the Christensen family. Welcome to the Reed family and welcome to the Family Feud Challenge. Our opening question was, Name a food that drips all over when you eat it. If you said the number one answer is ice cream, you hit the bullseye. Two great families here ready to battle it out for the chance to win up to $20,000 right here on this stage and then to go on to play against the Anderson family. Our current champion sitting in the audience. Let's not waste any time. Say hello to the Reed family. Brad. All right. How are you? Okay. Where are you from? We're from Pasadena area. Pasadena, California. Home of my favorite comedy club, the Ice House in Pasadena. You ever go there? Uh, never do. Okay. Probably it's never. It's probably cold, right? Uh, um, yeah. Good, good joke, Brad. So who'd you bring with you, Brad? This is my wife, Lisa. Hi, Hi Lisa. Ray. And my brother-in-law, Mike. Hi, Ray. And my sister, Julie. Nice Howdy. to have you. And my mother, Lil. Welcome Hi. to the few. Let's put $2,500 in the Reed family's bank. That's the least you can play for if you defeat the Christensen family. Is it large? It is. Where is the Christensen family hailing from? San Fernando. San Fernando, California. Who'd you bring? I brought my son, Michael, my son-in-law, Steve, my father-in-law, Art, and my son, Matthew. I welcome this family. Relax, have a good time. Maybe you'll get excited with the $2,500 the least you can win in your bank. Let's call for the bullseye game to find out the most you'll be playing for today. Let's go. Large. Brad, build your own bank. All that count in bullseye are the number one answers. This question could add $500 to the value of your bank. 100 people answered. Name something specific you see inside a laundromat. Brad. Washing machines. Is a washing machine the bullseye? Bullseye! $3,000 for the Reed family. You could add $1,000 to your bank if you know the number one answer to this. Name an occupation in which women wear uniforms. Lisa. Nurses. Do nurses give you $1,000 more? Bullseye. Your bank grows to $4,000. Christensen's looking to add to their bank. This question, $1,500 for a single number one answer. Name a place where you'd find a lighted candle. Stephen, your chance? In a restaurant. Is a restaurant the bullseye? No. Mike, do you know number one, you, where you would see a lighted candle? A church. Is church the bullseye? Bullseye. We have $5,500 built into the Reed family bank. They shake hands for a question that could give either team $2,000 more. Name an animal important to the American Indians. Art? The horse. Is horse number one? No. Julie, you'll pick up $2,000 if you know an animal important to American Indians. The buffalo! Show me buffalo for the bullseye. You have $7,500 built into the Reed family bank. Matthew, here's the last chance to pick up $2,500 more. Can double your family's bank. Lil, you'll be at an even $10,000 if you get this $2,500 question. Name something mint flavored. Matthew. Mint chocolates. Is mint chocolates the bullseye? Lil, do you know something mint flavored? Ice cream. 
Is it number one for the bullseye? What would have added $2,500? I hear gum. What? Gum. Not bad. We have the Reed family with $7,500. Excuse me. I am sorry about that. Built into their bank, the Reed, $7,500. The Christiansen say they're going to fight just as hard for the $2,500 in their bank. They'll be playing for that money in fast money if they win the feud when we come right back after this. I just can't believe it. Some of you still haven't tried delicious sunsweet pitted prunes. Don't you realize how fantastic they are? How sweet, how luscious, how absolutely, totally irresistible. Hey! How do you give low saturated fat oils like canola a different taste? Add corn oil. Only new Mazzola Right Blend blends the leading corn oil with canola with one gram of saturated fat per serving. Blend good taste into your healthy cooking with new Mazzola Right Blend. Rich. Junkies, Smacks making a comeback as the new drug of choice for the wealthy. We'll show you how they're getting high with actual hidden camera footage of heroin users and buys. See how privileged addicts kick the habit at a rehab center that looks more like a country club. Action News Michael Duck takes you face to face with people who had the good life and blew it up in smoke on heroin, chasing the dragon. Quick, turn on Channel 2 Action News today at 5. Top five answers are on that board to a question that we ask of a hundred people. Let's see how you gentlemen do this time. Brad, you look ready. But I think you've looked ready before. We ask this question, give me the most popular answer. Tell me something you might do with a few friends after work. Brad. Go on, drinking. How about drinking? Number one. Think of a steel guard. We got this bank of $7,500 you want to play for, Lisa. hundred people answered this. Tell me something you might do with a few friends after work. Go out to eat. Go out to dinner. Maybe go eat. Yeah. Eating, drinking, 87 points in the bank. Mike, welcome. All right. Hi. What do you think our 100 people said? Go to the movies. Perhaps a movie. Yeah. All right, Julia Rowland. What do you think they said you'd do with a few friends after work? I'd say some people might go bowling. Good answer, yeah. yeah. Maybe. Bowling? Maybe. Hmm, it's interesting. Did it make the survey bowling? Yeah. Yeah. I never know. I never know. I try to shy away from any sport where you have to rent the shoes. Uh, you can't bring them Something you might do with a few friends after work. Invite them home. Okay, okay. You have no strikes. If number five is invite them home, you got a clean sweep, and that's a great way to start. Show me invite them home. Oh. Brad. Okay. Um, is going out to coffee the same thing as eating? Well, let me just go to uh, the judge for that. Yes, it, it is. Okay. Um... Brad, I, I think, want you just I to think, calm down. Okay. I'm going to try to talk you through this. I'll read the question one more time. Something you do with a few friends after work, three seconds. You go play basketball. Okay. All right. It's there, you got a clean sweep. It's been a long day. Sally, Betty, Susan, you guys want to go shoot a few hoops? Let me see. Basketball. Two strikes. Two strikes. Lisa? Come on, they're going to try to steal if you don't know what you might do with a few friends after work. Quickly. Three seconds. Um. Take a guess. <laughs> All right, the bank still belongs to you. You can steal a big one. Help him out. You might do with a few friends after work. Monday night football. What if it's Tuesday? <laughs> what if it's Tuesday? It's still Monday night football. Okay, still Monday night football. You guys got a good chance of winning. All right. Play cards. Play cards? I'm going to say poker. Poker? Well, that's a sporting event. All right, Monday night football, play cards, poker. Up to you, Varge. The question is something you might do with a few friends after work. Play cards. Does it get you the steal? Play cards. <laughs> the Reeds win the bank. It could be Monday night football. Let's see. What's number five? Go shopping. This feud's only begun. We're coming right back with great answers to surprising questions and a lot more fun after this.
headache and I can't sleep. Not just my headache, I can't get to sleep. For everyone who thinks the answer to their headaches and sleepless nights comes along once in a blue moon, look to Excedrin PM, a medicine that can ease your pain and help you sleep. From the headache experts, it relieves your headache without aspirin, so you can feel good about taking it and helps you sleep with a second gentle ingredient. Say goodnight with aspirin-free Excedrin PM. Big news at the Huggies Lab. What a breakthrough. Totally rethought, refined, redesigned, new Huggies Ultra Trim Diapers. A smart way to help stop leaks. They're nearly 50% thinner than Pampers for a trimmer pant-like fit. And now reprogrammed with a streamlined center and unique curved leg elastics. Plus, revolutionary materials absorb better than ever to help stop leaks. New Huggies Ultra Trim. Totally redesigned to create big smiles. Presenting the 8-calorie cookie, the 8-calorie ice cream scoop, or an entire dessert that's 8 calories. Sugar-free Jell-O gelatin with 100% Nutra-Sweet. There's always room for sugar-free Jell-O. What's fire engine red, non-electric, and made to pull in the dirt? Guess again, it's the Dirt Devil Sweeper. It picks up little messes quickly and quietly and empties in a snap, and you can store it anywhere. So get the Dirt Devil Sweeper. It always pulls through. Right now, the Reed family, 93 points. The Christiansons have zero, but it's time like for another face-off, and it can all change. Great feud if you've just tuned in. You're gonna, you want to keep watching, tell your friends to call, call them up. You, you don't want to miss this. Unbelievable answers. Top five answers are on that board. 100 people across this great land answered this. Name a specific way that we all waste water. Mike? Water our lawns. Watering the lawn. One answer is more popular, possibly. Name a specific way that we all waste water. We take long showers. Long showers is at number one. Look at that steal. 30 people take long showers. Good job. Mike, again, it's up to you. No strikes, a specific way. We all waste water. Leaving the water running. Yeah. Just kind of leave it running. Yeah. Let's see if it's there. Yeah. Let it run for hot or cold. Yeah. Bank goes to 55, and it could, it could belong to the Christiansons over there. Don't get down. What do you say, Julie? Not in California, but some places they waste water by watering their driveway, cleaning off the driveway. You, they don't do that in California? Well, I hope not. I saw a guy use 500,000 pounds of water pressure just to spray a Coke can because he wasn't going to pick it up. Like, let, me, let me see. Uh, water to clean your driveway. One strike. Stop. Oh, you got it? I got it. Okay. Wash the car. Maybe we all waste water by washing our cars. Good job, good job. All right, Brad. You, I'm ready. I can, if you know it, give it to me now. Cleaning and washing your pets. <laughs> hey, let me say, my friend, you never know what makes the survey. If it is there, it is a clean sweep, and you have all of the points. Let me see. <laughs> Washing your pets. You were, you were, you were, no, you were, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, ready. There are two strikes, and I want you to know, know that that family, look this at them right good. now. They look at Steve. Right. We're ready. Right. Right. Whoa. They don't fix their leaky faucets. Yes! Yeah. Makes sense, and you got a clean sweep if we see. Just don't fix leaky faucets. Yeah! yeah. You take the second back. 
Don't feel bad. We're coming right back to double the coin value and see if the Christiansons can get in this game. Don't go away. You know, I can still remember the very first candy given to me by my grandfather. It was Werther's original, and I was four. I had a little trouble opening that shiny golden wrapper, but then, well, I'll never forget that first taste. Sweet and creamy and just plain good. But there was something else, too. I remember feeling I must be somebody very special when my grandpa gave me his wonderful butter candy. So, now I'm the grandfather. And what else would I give my little grandson but my Werther's original? He's somebody special, too. So, you're going on a trip. Please remember your parking space number. Oh, and your flight number, your gate number, your seat number, your confirmation number, your credit card number, your room number, the number in your party, and finally, your calling card number. Or just forget that last one and get a phone card from Sprint. Then all you've got to know is your home phone number and four digits. It's easy. And hey, if you can't remember your home phone number, you shouldn't leave home. Good old granola. Great for taste, but loaded with fat. Now there's Kellogg's Low Fat Granola. Half the fat of other leading brands, but all the great taste of whole grains, raisins, and almonds. Kellogg's Low Fat Granola. Great taste, half the fat. Oh, great. Just what my stomach needs, here comes my obnoxious boss. Hi, Daddy. Hi. Better make it Maalox. Because for moments like this, nothing Mylanta makes neutralizes as much stomach acid as Extra Strength Maalox Plus. So why take anything else? We were just talking about oh, you. Oh, nice, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> My mother's here, too. Great. Nobody knows your stomach better, so you better make it Maalox. We're back. The Reed family's 172 points. The Christiansons have zero. Let us go with another face-off. If you have just tuned in, right now, the Reed family, 172 points, could win the game yeah. if they take this double-valued question all the way out. Steve, you can stop them. Your I hope to. You I hope, hope to? That's why you're here. Your family is counting on you. You want to play for the $2,500 in your bank. Mike is very serious. <laughs> Point value doubled. Top five answers there. 100 people answered. Name an occupation whose members worry about being bitten by dogs. Here's your chance, Steve. Got to be a dog catcher. Is it dog catcher? It's number two. Mike says, as soon as you said dog catcher, Mike said, nah, nah. Policeman. He, he, don't say a word to anybody. Is number one policeman? <laughs> you blew the chance to win the game, but you still can win on a steal. Don't say a word. This is, I'll tell you what, go ahead, go, go ahead on up, go ahead on up. This shows what I'm dealing with. I'm walking down to meet him. He's going to face off. He, everybody, I am in charge here. Back right over here, Art. Get over here, get over here. Mike, I'll talk, you get in the corner till the show's over. Good morning. Art, before you speak, let me read this question. Apparently, I didn't read it properly. They can win if they steal. So, but I don't think they're going to the way Mike's playing. <laughs> Name an occupation whose members worry about being bitten by dogs. Animal trainer. Hey, hey, you laugh. If you got the job of training a lion, you can worry about it. Let me see an animal trainer. Hundred average Americans. We're gonna do shh. We're gonna do okay now from a man who watches Monday Night Football. Veterinarian. Let me see a veterinarian. Way to go. Don't say it. There are... Both families have unophobia, the fear of giving the number one answer. Varg, there's an occup... Think about this. There's an occupation whose members worry about being bitten by dogs, a hundred people said. Please, uh, uh, pardon me. Postman. Let me... S Let me, let me just say, that's the biggest hand the post office has gotten in about 30 years. Let me see the postman. Yeah. Now, 
Think of a steal, because you can win with a steal. Mike, what do you think? An occupation? Meter readers. Meter readers. We are rolling now. Now, if you can give me Steve number five, we're going quickly to the final question. Occupation whose members worry about being bitten by dogs. A paper boy. Is it? For a clean sweep? Paper boy. Uh, Listen carefully to help Brad. You will win and play for 7,500 if you... I'm just anticipating. I don't think they have a chance. Is it you, Steve? Did you give it or is it Art? Art? Name a reason why people don't know the occupations of the members who get bit by dogs. Uh, They've never been around animals much. <laughs> I feel bad to tell you, Art, that that's really not the question. It is name an occupation whose members worry about being bitten by dogs. You're going to take control if you know. Delivery men. Good. Good enough. Delivery men. Does that get you the lead, delivery men? Good try, good try. Now, one answer and you've won on a steal. Name an occupation whose members worry about being bitten by dogs. Any... Uh, UPS guy. Garbage collector. Garbage collector. UPS garbage man. Garbage nope. collector. Door to door salesman. Door to door salesman. You say what you really think. Say what you really think. Salesman. 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 Quietly, please, Brad. It's now up to you. You can go with them on your own. You'll win with a steal. Okay, I gotta go with. If Milkman is there, you've won. If it's not, we are going quickly with another face-off. Is it Milkman? Let's see. The Christiansons have won the bank. Number five will have won the game. Garbage collector set down here by Julie. But you didn't say it. Let's go right now with our final face-off. Come on. Let's go, Art. We have Triple A with point value. Point value tripled. Good luck, Art. Good luck, Julie. The family feud that became a miniseries as we go. The top three answers are there. Whoever takes this question out will win the game. Please listen carefully as I move like lightning. Tell me something that parents do for their child when their child cuts a finger. Art. Put a Band-Aid on Is Band-Aid there? You think of a steal? Let's go, Art. You can win. Back with your family. Parents do for a child when it cuts their finger. Put some disinfectant. Disinfectant. This game is over. You're playing for $2,500, Varg. If number two is? Give them love. Is love there? Kiss it, Mom. You won! You had the chance to win it, Mike, you police officer lover. We love you and have nice gifts for you. Stay here. Two players are needed for $2,500. Who's playing? We're coming right back to play Fast Money. Who's with me? Second is off stage. I'm going to get in control by the time you come back. Moms, do you recall when you were small that books with this cat were the most fun of all? Now your kids will see how fun reading can be. Because Kellogg is offering beginner books free. Why, these Kellogg cereals is all that you do. Send two proofs of purchase. And the free books for you. Any one of these books, or perhaps a cassette. But the offer won't last. So don't you forget. For you'll be amazed at the time your kids spend. When they look into books with Dr. Seuss and friends. When I bite into a York peppermint patty, I get the sensation of itty-bitty snowmen running up and down my spine. Ooh, I'll take one of those. York peppermint patty. Get the sensation. What are you doing? Pouring on A1. Before? I think it'll taste different after, because before you did it after. Try it. Before you eat it all. Oh, after you. A1. It's how steak is done. Don't blink, Taylor. Brooke Logan is very clever. Don't look away. She'll do a number on me. Because Brooke Logan is determined. You have one goal in mind, and that is to pin my husband. To make your life a nightmare in daytime. And she's not about to be stopped on the bold and the beautiful. The Christensen's going for $2,500 before facing the Andersons, who watch from the crowd as we place 15 seconds on the clock, please. Good luck, Art. We ask 100 people these five questions. Name something you wouldn't buy. 
to wear unless you could see yourself in a mirror first. A swimsuit. A sport whose spectators can affect the players. The uh, pass. The best color for a car interior. Red. How many pairs of boots a man owns? Four. A magazine that has cartoons. A uh, cartoon. Okay, turn around here. I asked you something you wouldn't buy to wear unless you could see yourself in a mirror first. You chose bathing suit, survey said. Bam, 45. A sport whose spectators can affect the players, you said. To pass, we did not get back. Best color for a car interior. You liked red. Hello, Art. Survey said four. How many pairs of boots a man owns? How'd you do with four? Survey said six. Put you at 55. A magazine that has cartoons. You said cartoons. So survey said you're going to have some work for your partner, but you can do it. Here comes Steve, who has been kept on stage as we plays 20 seconds. On that clock, Steve, you look straight ahead. 20 seconds, revealing answers. Bring this home. We ask 100 people. Name something you wouldn't buy to wear unless you could see yourself in a mirror first. A shirt. A sport whose spectators can affect the players. Hockey. The best color for a car interior. Red. Try again. Um, black. How many pairs of boots a man owns? Two. A magazine that has cartoons. A uh, mad magazine. Turn around. Something you wouldn't buy to wear unless you could see yourself in a mirror first, you said. Shirt, what the survey say? Three. Bathing suit was number one. Did you do better with the sport whose spectators can affect the players with? Hockey survey said. Mm. Football number one. The best color for a car interior. You chose secondly. Black, the hottest color survey said. 20. Right. Gray would have been number one. You need two big finishes. How many pairs of boots a man owns? You chose two, and the survey chose 48. Two pairs, the number one answer. It looks like $5 a point, a magazine that has cartoons. You said Mad Magazine. What did our survey say? 28. Playboy, number one, not said. $5 a point as you go back with your family. Seven ninety. dollars Come on, champions. The Andersons are coming to the stage. It's not over. That big board's going to work one more time for us, for a few that could be worth $20,000. Coming up right after this. More Family Feud coming up. Walk the line when a man wants to die. We all believed he had made up his mind. He was going to take his life. But will he take a cop over the edge with him? Top cops. Then, meet Tim. He loves little girls. Some say too much. Is he a good Samaritan or a murderer? Street Stories, following Top Cops, Thursday. This is CBS. I'm Annette Funicello, and I have multiple sclerosis. Please join the MS Walk on Sunday, March 28th, to raise funds for MS research and services. For information on the walk nearest you, call 1-800-I-BUST-MS. Do I look all right? You look great. Come on, let's go. Okay. Southern California Savings made a personal-sized commercial. Oh, hi, Mrs. Pearsall. Hi. This is Tim. Isn't he cute? Because we're known for personal size banking. And this is my banker, Gail. Mrs. Pearsall has been coming here as long as I can remember. For big commercials, go to a big bank. But for personal size banking, come to Southern California Savings. Did you get a good shot of Tim? Hello, I'm Jenny Craig, and if you're torn between watching your weight and watching your budget, I have some very good news for you. Effective immediately, Jenny Craig announces an all-new pricing policy. Pay as you go. Lose all the weight you want for just $6 a week. You'll still get personal one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions, supportive weight management classes, and more. That's pay as you go and lose all the weight you want for just $6 a week. Only at Jenny Craig. Call 1-800-92-JENNY now. Rich heroin addicts chasing the dragon on Action News today at 5. 
Welcome to the Family Feud Challenge. What is the top answer to this question? If you were walking past two people, what tells you that they're arguing? The survey says the number three answer is hand gestures. The number two answer is voices. What is the number one bullseye answer? You'll get the answer as we play Bullseye on the Family Feud Challenge. <laughs> Introducing our returning champion, the Anderson family, ready for action. Playing against the challengers, the Christensen family. On your marks, let's start the Family Feud. Here's the star of the Family Feud Challenge, Ray Cohn. and welcome to the Family Feud Challenge. Our opening question, very interesting. If you were walking past two people, what tells you that they, they're arguing? If you said the number one answer is facial expressions, you hit the bullseye. We're gonna play that great bullseye game in a minute. We first wanna say hello to returning champions, you know and love them, the Anderson family. $18,000. $280. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the third day with us, who'd you bring with you? I brought my daughter, number two daughter, Joy Lynn. One and yeah. only son, Altus. Yeah. All right. George's brother-in-law, Paul. We'll go right. George's mother-in-law, Facer. All right, all right. Your family's what's up, Waddle? Your family is from Compton, California, with a C. You got it right. Compton with a C. Thank you. And maybe there'll be $5,000 that we're putting in your bank, placed in a bank in Compton. That is, if you can defeat the Christensen family. Bart, I wish you much luck. Your family is from? San Fernando. San Fernando. You're going to have to really come alive to beat these champions. We're alive. For the folks just joining us, the Christensen's were in the first part of our show, and Varg will tell you who he brought with him. My son, Michael. Hi, Ray. Hello. My son-in-law, Steve. Hi, Ray. My Hi. father-in-law, Art. Hi, Ray. And my son, Matthew. Great team. We put $5,000 into their bank, the least you could play for if you're called champions. And now the fun part, let you build your bank with our bullseye game. Come on, heads of the family. Waddle's quick to the punch. Fun because... You build your own bank. All that counts are the number one answers, and this question could put 1,000 more dollars in your bank. We ask 100 people, tell me something a makeup person would have in a makeup kit. What? Powder. Is powder the bullseye? No. Something a makeup person would have in a makeup kit. Coloring. Coloring? Let me see coloring if it's the bullseye. Show us what the bullseye was. Lipstick. We missed that. Here we go with our next bullseye question that could add $2,000 to your bank. The question, name a dessert that people sometimes heat up. Mike? Hot fudge sundaes. Hot fudge sundae could be worth $2,000 if it's number one. Joy? Name a dessert that people sometimes heat up. Apple pie. All right. Do you pick up two grand with apple pie? Bullseye! $7,000 in the Anderson Bank as we continue to build. We ask 100 people this. The number one answer will add $3,000. Name something a dog owner should do for the dog's protection. Altus? Dog collar. Is a collar the bullseye? No. The dog owner should do for the dog's protection, Steve. License the dog. Is licensing the dog worth $3,000? Yeah. Somebody screamed shots. What would have given you $3,000? The bullseye shots. Here we go with another bank building question. We want to see you take them up. Art, Paul, this single question can add four thousand more dollars to your bank. Do you know the bullseye to this? What's the most important value a parent can teach a child? Art. Love. 
Is love worth $4,000? Good answer, but no. Paul. Is respect worth $4,000 on the bullseye? What is the most important value? Could it be the crowd chants honesty? Show us the bullseye. Honesty. We are missing great bullseye questions. Here we go. Faith, Matthew, we have missed several great questions. How do you make up for it? A $5,000 question that can go to your bank. Who do you really count on to be on your side? Matthew. Jesus Christ. Is Jesus Christ the number one answer in our survey? Stay here. Just not number one. Do you know the number one answer? Who do you really count on to be on your side? Your spouse. His spouse worth 5000 Bullseye! We have $12,000 in the Anderson Family Bank. The Christiansons stay at $5,000. And we'll be right back to play the feud so we can see who will play fast money for all the money they just put in their bank. This robe may look nice and white, but it doesn't compare to this Clorox white. Because detergent alone can leave clothes dingy, but adding Clorox every time gives you a brand new kind of white. Clorox liquid bleach. Also in lemon and fresh scents. What would you get if you squeezed the refreshing flavor of this orange or this lemon into a nice, plump, sunsweet prune? You'd get delicious new sunsweet orange essence or lemon essence fitted prunes. Better hurry before someone gets yours. Investigating the world of teen call girls. How many clients have you had? 16-year-old Jasmine? I lost count. Is your daughter moonlighting by lying down on the job? It's on Geraldo. Today at 4 on Channel 2. Rich, junkies, heroin's making a comeback as the new drug of choice for the wealthy. Watch hidden camera footage and Michael Tuck's face-to-face -face interviews on heroin, chasing the dragon. Quick, turn on Channel 2 Action News today at 5. We are back, and now it is time to play the feud. Let's go, Barb. Waddle. The first family that reaches 300 points wins the game and gets the chance to go on to play fast money to win their bankroll. Christensen family sitting with $5,000 challenging our champions. The Andersons have built a bank of $12,000. Both teams would like to come back and stay champions for a long time. First question was asked of 100 people. We placed the top six answers on that board trying to find the most popular answer. Tell me a place where a middle-aged guy might feel the urge to suck in his tummy. Waddle. At the beach. Is beach on the survey. <laughs> the Andersons want the $12,000 in their bank. But I know you want to steal, so think about it. What do you say, Joy? I say on a date. A middle-aged yeah, guy yeah. might feel the urge to suck in his tummy on a date. Uh, Hope? OK. How about uh, in a singles bar? Now, it's 100 average people that answer this, male and female. They may have said a singles bar. Yes. Bank grows to 70 points. Good job, Paul. I say at a gym. Let's see if a gym made our survey. Number five. Excuse me, number four. Six people said it. Three answers remain. Varg, what are you clapping for? Yes. Okay, all right. All right. Okay. Just trying to keep the detention going. I can feel it right now. Faye? At a park. At a where? Park. When he goes to... A park. P-A-R-K. Good try, but now there are two strikes. Now, Varg, I saw you tease them because they have two strikes. Right. You can take that smile off his face, Waddle, because you can give me one of those answers. In an athletic suit, like a gym or a basketball suit. When he's dressed in athletic okay. clothes. Okay. The question is to tell me a place where a middle-aged guy might feel the urge to tuck in his stomach. You, you said in his workout clothes. That is three strikes now. Do you understand the wording? Tell me a place where a middle-aged guy might feel the urge to suck in his gut. Don't have to have anything, Art. Tennis court. Tennis court? Class reunion. Class reunion? Anything? 
Got that. That's okay. Class reunion, tennis court, you may go on your own. If not, the Andersons are keeping 76 points. You're, let me call for silence. You want to go on your own, don't you? On a, on a date. It's a great answer. Uh, it's been said, and it was not there. You can say it again, if you wish. But uh, you, three seconds to pick another answer. One, tennis two. Tennis court. Is it? Tennis court. Anderson's Keith. Anderson's Keith. They're back. Could it be? Somebody said work. What was number three? Middle-aged guys sucking their gut. Number three. Show it to us. Class reading. Did you say that? Should have made him say it, Steve. He was looking for direction. Number five. They suck in their gut at a nightclub, at a disco. It's kind of hard to dance with that gut sucked in, but you try to do it anyway. Number six. Around the office. This feud is coming right back, and we'll be here sucking our guts in to find out who will play Fast Money Stay Tuned. Okay. Good morning. Hope they like me. Getting ready. A teacher's best has got to shine through. Folgers wakes up the best in you. Folgers crystals. Mountain grown, fresh brewed. Then custom ground into crystals. Don't worry. They'll love you. It's not how you make the coffee, but how the coffee makes you feel. Opening eyes. Opening doors. What's your name? Oh, Folgers wakes up the best in you. I think kids today need to learn responsibility. Mine have dish night, and they do a great job. So there's no food like little tomato seeds left stuck on the plate. They always pre-rinse, and they never overload. No matter who does the dishes, Cascade does the dirty work. Dishes washed without sheeting action are left looking dirty. But Cascade with sheeting action gets them so clean, they're virtually spotless. Perfect. Every night should be dish night. Night! This is Berry Berry Kicks, a different kind of kid's cereal. Mom, can we get that, please? And you know what they'll do to get a kid's cereal. I'll wash your car. It's got a crisp corn crunch. Okay, I'll never touch the stereo again. Natural fruit flavors, real fruit juice, and less sugar than most kid's cereals. So when your kids say... Please? You'll gladly say, okay, Berry Berry Kicks. <laughs> Glad I asked. Now for the Sign Aid Society, here's Michael Learned. Because I have sinus problems just like you, I want you to know about Maximum Strength Sign Aid Gel Caps, the most potent pain and pressure reliever in Sign Aid history combined with state-of-the-art gel cap technology. So you get powerful sinus relief that's easy to swallow and won't cause drowsiness. It really works for me, and I hurt just like you. Maximum Strength Sign Aid Gel Caps, the potency of Sign Aid in a patented gel cap. Watch CBS this morning. It's breakfast for your head. We've got a great feud. Our champion, 76 points. The Christensen zero. Here we come with another face-off as we double this point value. Good luck. The point value is doubled. Mike, I know you're very attentive. Are you aware that Joy is expecting? I am. And she's due any time? Any time. That'd be fantastic if it happened right now. That would be. I was thinking, I thought you might be more of a gentleman and just kind of go let her have a free okay, shot at this great. for the kid. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But here's the question, since he has turned ugly, Joy, take it to him. For your child, Joy, we ask 100 people this, the top four answers are there. Tell me a reason why a person might find a joke offensive. Joy? It's racial. It is racial. It's ethnic. Mike? Think of the steel. That's right. She said racial. That's ethnic. What? Yeah, okay. Well, same, same thing. I, same thing. I didn't know that. I can't spell. What might make a person find a joke offensive? It's sexist. All right. Did sexist make our survey? All right. Come on. Paul? Come on, Paul. What do you think the survey said? Religious beliefs. Something that might make a person find a joke offensive. Their religious beliefs. One strike. You got a great bank. It's $12,000. Keep it going, Faye. What might 
What's a reason why a person might find a joke offensive? A fat joke. I, it could be there, but my mom is so fat that when she goes into the woods, Bigfoot takes a picture of her. So let's, let's go see. Let's go. Those are terrible jokes. Did it offend anybody? Did our survey say fat jokes? <laughs> Didn't make our survey because we all tell them and we shouldn't. We should not. <laughs> Waddle, you're a reverend. You're a man of the cloth. You don't make fun of people. There are two answers remaining to keep you alive. Give me a reason why a person might find a joke offensive. It's a personal attack at the person. It is very personal. It's an attack. All right. It's directed yeah. at them. Come on, guys. Come on. Joy, come on for the baby. Okay. A reason why a person might find a joke offensive. They use a lot of swear words in it. Clean sweep. Clean sweep and a big lead if we see a lot of swear words. Yes, sir. Is you an even bigger lead? Two eight. 58 for the chance, Christiansen's let's go. It's time for what could be the final face-off. You need to take this question to stay alive. As we triple this point value, Altus, your family can win this game. One more time, play for $12,000. Top five answers on the board. 100 people answered this. Name a way to put out a small kitchen fire. Altus. Extinguisher. Right. Extinguisher, right. fire oh, extinguisher. Oh, oh. It's there, but two, three. You got three, give you control. Baking soda. Is baking soda a way to put out a small kitchen fire? Yeah. Think of the steel. You can take control. Stay there, Art. Art, if you'd like to come up there, you may, but I, I like, like it. Like to, yeah. A way to put out a small kitchen fire. Water. Oh, that's water. Let me see it. Uh. You can win with a steel. Come on, Matthew. A way to put out a small kitchen fire. A big towel. <laughs> smother. Can I see that he technique again? Show me the technique again. Big towel and yeah, smother. smother. Yeah, that was a nice technique. Let me see. The towel's on fire now. Oh, no. A towel. Yeah. There you go. Think of that steel. Come on there. What do you say, Barb? On, put out a small kitchen fire. Three seconds. Blow on it. Varg, what would you do with a house fire? Maybe get the whole neighborhood around? <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Come on, you can keep it going. Put three seconds. Flour on it. Flour? Yeah. Are you alive with flour? Yeah! If you can give me number three, we're going with another face-off. If not, they can win the game. Put out a small kitchen fire, quickly. Three seconds. Throw it in the sink. Good ass! Show me, put it in the sink. <laughs> Listen to this, one answer to help what else? A way to put out a small kitchen fire? Salt. Salt? Remove it from the source. Remove it from the source, that's a nice way to say you don't have a choice. Salt. Salt. Joy? Nothing. Now, listen to me. Tell him what you really believe for one second. Come on, Dad. And now I'm going on quietly. I'm going to talk to you for a minute, Waddle. There's one answer that will win your game. End it. You'll play for $12,000. Do you know it on your own? Going with them. What is it? Well, she's been a winner so long, I gotta go with her. Salt! Is this game over with salt? <laughs> Very unbelievable, Bart. You cannot argue with that. They stole it, they won it. God bless your family. You made it great. We got a nice party gifts for you. And if you God bless you, my family. Stay here. Two players for $12,000. The Andersons pull this out. Somebody's helping them. The big boy, $12,000. Right at your wrist. You know, three, four years ago, I never worried about what I ate. I figured, it tastes good. Leave me alone. Anyway, uh, the reason I, I changed is because uh, today I cook on weekends for my kids. Boy, go to a supermarket, you'll get an education. Zero cholesterol Fleischmann's. Kids uh, definitely have their own ideas about what tastes good. And uh, I try to make them what they like. But see, 
What I put into that food, I put into those kids. Spread a little love, Fleischmann's. A short while ago, Carol Walters was troubled with arthritis pain. But she promised Pete they'd go for their run. So she took a Motrin IB. The same medicine as in the Motrin doctors have prescribed for years, but in non-prescription strength. And just one Motrin IB works as well as two regular aspirin. So now, Carol's ready. Let's go, Pete. Pete's been ready for a while. Motrin IB, the relief of Motrin in non-prescription strength. Starting now, there are two kinds of clean, whisk and without, because there's a whole new kind of detergent, new Whisk Power Plus. Whisk without. Now there's a clean you're proud of, whisk, and a clean without. On greasy stains like this, ordinary detergents barely budge the grease. Even detergents with bleach can't really move it. Only Whisk Power Plus has a unique organic cleaning system. Watch. When it comes to clean, now you're either whisk or without. Whisk. I really like Rice Krispie Treats. You can make them. They're really easy. I watch my mom. Yeah? First you want some marshmallow and margarine. Then you pour in Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Then you come out of the kitchen and put your hand like this and say, they're finally done. No, no. You're worth all the hard work. Then you could take it out to dinner. Kellogg's Rice Krispies Treats. So good, so easy. The Andersons going for another $12,000 with 15 seconds on the clock. Thank you. Good luck, Joy. We Thank ask you. 100 people these five questions. How long does it take you to get out of bed after the alarm goes off? 30 minutes. Something you'd find in a magician's home? A uh, magic hat. A food people give as a gift? Candy. A place in the house where people build shelves? In the bathroom. A kind of floor covering? Towel. Turn around. You're going for $12,000. How long does it take you to get out of the bed after the alarm goes off? You said 30 minutes. Show me late for work, survey said. Seven agreed. In a magician's home, you'd find a, a magic hat, survey said. Bam, 32. All right, all right. People give this food as a gift. You said candy, survey said 15. In a home where people build shelves, you chose the bathroom. Survey chose five agreed. A kind of floor covering. How did you do with tile? Our survey said 26. Respectable. We're leaving some work for your brother. Come on, Altus. You're 115 away. You can do this. For college, for law school, 20 seconds. On the clock, please. Good luck. We ask 100 people these questions. How long does it take you to get out of bed after the alarm goes off? Ten minutes. Something you'd find in a magician's home? Hat. Try again. One. A food people give as a gift? Fruitcake. A place in the house where people build shelves? Kitchen. A kind of floor covering? Carpet. Right. You are going for $12,000. You got it. How long does it take you to get out of bed after the alarm goes off? You said? Ten minutes survey said. Bam! Twenty-four. Oh, wow. You would find in a magician's home his magic wand, survey said. Twenty-nine! Come on, son. Number one. Once again, you are a law student, and you need this money to pay I need, tuition. I need this money. All right, you get out of bed then five minutes early. All right, a no food problem. people give as a gift, you said. Fruitcake. What did the survey say? Thirty-three! All right, all right. The number one answer, fruitcake, given right here. You are 29 away from 12,000 more dollars. Place in the house where people build shelves. You said? Kitchen. Did 29 people say it for 12 grand? What did the survey say? Number one answer was in the family room or den. It comes down to this. A kind of floor covering, you said? Carpet. Did 14 people say it only? For $12,000, survey said... Bingo! Let him know about it, John. Carpet. The number one answer. Right back from the Andersons. $12,000. Good work.
Presenting the 8-calorie cookie, the 8-calorie ice cream scoop, or an entire dessert that's 8 calories. Sugar-free Jell-O gelatin with 100% Nutrisweet. There's always room for sugar-free Jell-O. Hi, I'm Regis Philbin. You know, I've been suffering with back pain for years. I tried all these rubs, they worked, but I smelled so medicine-y. Then I discovered odor-free Aspa Cream. I just rub an Aspa Cream for hours of concentrated relief right where I hurt. It relieves the pain fast, and it's odor-free. That's the difference. Go ahead, try odor-free Aspa Cream yourself. With Aspa Cream, you'll get fast relief, hours of relief. And Aspa Cream is aspirin-free. My mom's got a cold. A bad cold. And a sore nose, too. So I'm taking very good care of her with Kleenex Ultra. The really soft because they're made with a potion. Actually, there's a lotion in new Kleenex Ultra tissues. An oil-free lotion. So unlike others, they're never oily. Only ultra soft. I know a lot about bad cold. Choo! I had the same one last week. New Kleenex Ultra. Ultra softness is all you feel. How does the almond get into Hershey's Kisses with almonds? Little Hershey's Kisses with almonds. Big chocolate taste. There's a new underclass in America. Millions of outcasts shunned by their fellow citizens. It's a little bit like being in Siberia. I feel a second-class citizen. I feel a third-class citizen. And what have they done to be so hated? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Eye on America, tonight on the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. See you next time. See if the Andersons can win more than $30,280. Bye-bye. Some of our departing families will receive Flintstones, complete with the great taste kids love and the vitamins they need to grow strong and healthy. All again for partials. It cleans the pearly part and the metal part in just five minutes. Powerful Polident for partials. Soft heat, electric heater. The safe, efficient, comfortable way to warm any room in your home. Soft heat, the original hot water filled heater from Interferm. Vitex, Infraderm, facial massager with infrared heat. Drinks and moisturizers and creams for a healthier, cleaner skin. Plus the Vitex perfect angle body massager with six adjustable positions. An Elgin Solid Link watch. Four genuine diamonds are mounted on the face of each watch from the Elgin Watch Company. From Television City in Hollywood, this is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud, a Mark Goodson television production. This program has been edited for broadcast.